Welcome to the Joy of Music, featuring the First Lady of the Organ, Diane Bish. We invite you to meet great composers and performers, travel to Europe's ancient monasteries and snow-covered Alps, visit great historical cathedrals and beautiful lakes and gardens. Praise ye the Lord. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him with a psaltery and harp. Praise him with a trumpet. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And now, Miss Diane Bish. Welcome to the Joy of Music. Today we bring you excerpts from a special live concert held at the Coral Ridge Presbyterian Church in Fort Lauderdale, Florida a program of music for brass and organ. We begin the program by playing the music of Johann Sebastian Bach. The first is the Alleluia, which features the organ. And the second is, and now vengeance has been taken from the Christmas Oratorio. This features the organ, brass, and solo trumpet as played by John Moore.
of the great arts of the French organist is the art of improvisation, that of making music instantaneously and spontaneously. We hear now an improvisation as played and realized by the great composer, organist Charles Turnemere, the Paschal Lamb, Victimae Pascali. We cannot say exactly what was in the mind of Turnemere as he played this improvisation, but I feel strongly that he was picturing the three parts of Christ's Passion. The piece begins with the trumpets of the organ, and in the first section we have tumultuous arpeggios and chords reflecting Christ's agony. Then we have a quiet middle section, which again describes the quietness as Christ lay in the tomb for three days. But then the organ begins to build and we return to arpeggio scales and great chords as hands and feet go up and down the keyboard of the organ. And then we hear the trumpets of the resurrection. This is the Victimae Pascali of Charles Turnemere.
from the music of Charles Tournemir, we go to another French composer of the Romantic style, Charles Marie Vidor. Vidor was one of the great composers and organists of the early 1900s, and we hear now his piece, Lord Save Thy People, written for brass and organ, a piece of great power and majesty.
Across the years, composers and organists have been inspired by the texts of hymns and chorales. I, too, have been inspired by many of these hymns, which mean so much to me personally. Today on the program, I have chosen to play the great hymn of Easter, which reflects Christ's victory. Christ the Lord is risen today. This features the horizontal trumpets of the organ. In the middle section, it goes to the Passion Chorale, O Sacred Head Now Wounded, and then returns once again to the victory of Easter and the horizontal trumpets.
you for joining us today on The Joy of Music as we have brought you excerpts from a special live concert at the Coral Ridge Presbyterian Church in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, a program of music for brass and organ. We pray that you have been blessed and enriched by the music today. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. <laughs> <laughs>